Tonight, an I-Team investigation. Fake driver's licenses, passports, and visas posing a very real threat. They are a lot harder to recognize now, and in the wrong hands, they could threaten everything from the economy to national security. The I-Team's Chris McKinnon takes a closer look tonight at the dangers and a growing black market. These passports might look real, but they're not. Every single one, representing countries from all over the world, is a fraud. Looks pretty real, but it's actually fake. All kinds of phony IDs that are getting tougher to spot, according to Chelsea detective Rosie Medina. So now you see the holograms, now you see uh, the scanned photos. Before it was just attached pictures, now you see them uh, more uh, sophisticated. A challenge for local law enforcement trying to crack a black market. Unless you have a way of checking with that other country or you have something to compare it with, you're not going to know it. It's, it's fake. The I-Team obtained new data from the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Last year, they stopped almost 14,000 people trying to get into the country with papers or documents that were fake. That's just part of the problem. Many illegals, often criminals, sneak into the country and then get phony documents once they're here. Authorities say that that some of your false documents could have been in listen, the hands of listen, terrorists. Listen, they look for someone like Lionel Sanchez of Chelsea to help them appear legitimate. Homeland Security investigators nabbed him for producing false identification documents. Sanchez pled guilty to bribing registry officials to obtain fake driver's licenses and is about to start serving a federal prison term. Sir, do you feel like you put the public at risk here? Federal officials say the answer is yes. A driver's license is all it takes to get on a domestic flight. Obviously the largest concern are public safety issues and potential terrorism, terrorism issues. Um, people will use these documents in very nefarious ways. We've seen it again and again and again. That's what happened happened the day no American will ever forget. There were 19 mm -hmm. terrorists who had 26 real and fictitious documents and obviously everyone knows what happened in 9-11. Public health threats, someone with an exotic disease, are also a concern and the cost to taxpayers can be huge. People will apply for particular uh, benefits such as an EBT card, for example, with a fictitious document, uh, welfare, those types of things, put in for Section 8 housing, uh, potentially get Social Security benefits. Bruce Folkhart, Boston's top Homeland Security official, says these better forgeries make specialized training for federal officers a must. Talk about your case. The criminal tries to stay one step ahead of, of the, the United States government law enforcement. And no one wants them to succeed. For the I-Team, Chris McKinnon, WBZ News. Now, if there's a story you think the I-Team should be taking a closer look at, send us an email, iteam at cbsboston.com. You can also call us at 617-779-TIPS.